Remember the administration tried to implement an OSHA rule to force $4 million, uh, I'm sorry, 4 million, 84 million Americans to take a vaccine? Thankfully, the court struck it down. But where was Congress? Nowhere, because the executive branch could use administrative executive fiat to make decisions. This is precisely why we have separation of powers. It's precisely why we're supposed to execute on the separation of powers. And it is precisely why the Rain Act is so critically important. I assume the gentlelady would agree. Yes, I do. So one or two other quick questions. I would just say maybe to the, to, to the gentleman, uh, Mr. Johnson, the gentleman from Georgia. Um, am I correct that in the recent uh, debt ceiling bill that was passed last week, passed by the Senate, uh, I guess late last week, um, that in that bill there was some sort of administrative PAYGO regulatory uh, language that was uh, inserted into the debt ceiling bill. No, it was not. It was not? Uh, the, the, I think there, there was supposed to be, there was administrative PAYGO language, that is, that requiring the administration to go through the process of saying if a regulation had a certain impact, right, that they would have to then go figure out how to pay for that impact on the fly, like administrative pay go. But my point of bringing that question up, which that is in the debt ceiling bill, is it is also waivable, right? I believe that in the debt ceiling bill, that language which was inserted into the bill is fully waivable by the OMB director. Is that, does the gentleman from Georgia believe well, that to be true? I, I think you may know a little bit more about it. You, you voted against it. Uh, so well, I would hope we all. Probably, I, hope, I would hope those who voted educators. for it know a lot about it more than those who voted against it. Yeah. To be honest with you. Well, you're in a position to educate us, but that is not our topic here today. Oh, well, I, I would, I would uh, take issue with that so, and allow the gentleman well, to expand on it. It is precisely the topic because we passed the Rains Act as part of the debt ceiling package, limit, save, grow, in late April, and in that Rains Act we would have been able to constrain the Biden administration. However, last week, the debt ceiling, quote, deal, unquote, was cut. And Democrats at the other end of Pennsylvania Avenue demanded that we take out the Reins Act and insert instead administrative pay-go, which is, to the best of my understanding, fully waivable. And in fact, fully waivable, such that the OMB director, Shalanda Young, said, she would waive it if, quote, deemed necessary to make sure President Biden's agenda is carried forward, end quote. I think my question was going to just simply be, why would it need to be waived? That would be my question, but I, I'm not sure that the gentleman's expert on the subject. And no, you, so I'd, I'd just say to the gentlelady from Wyoming, why would you think it would need to be waived? Well, I wouldn't think it would ever need to be waived. Right. But they're going to waive it because they're going to continue with an agenda that is crushing the economy and crushing our middle class and, uh, and violating our Constitution. Which is precisely the reason why we included the Reins Act in the debt ceiling bill to start with, because we knew full well the administration would, of course, waive any kind of provision that is waivable. By her own admission, she said that she would waive it. Um, thus is the state of things in the swamp. The swamp often wins when presented with a choice. The swamp is going to choose the thing that's going to continue to perpetuate the swamp. So therein lies the problem with that uh, particular question. The second question is the student loan payoffs. I think it is correct, and I'd ask the gentleman from Georgia, that the student loan bailout provision, the provisions that are almost $500 billion, that those provisions uh, that were removed from uh, being in place under the debt ceiling bill that the House passed out in late April, that was removed at the demand of the White House and the acquiescence of the House. Uh, that was removed from the debt ceiling bill last week. Does the gentleman agree that the bailout for student loans is no longer in, in the debt ceiling bill? I'm not going to get into a discussion about the debt ceiling. That was a victory uh, for the American people. It's something that has been passed, signed into law. I voted for it. You voted against it. I you've didn't. got a you've got a uh, axe to grind about it, and I can appreciate the fact that you would use this opportunity to do so. But I'm not in the position to engage you on that issue in this hearing. So the reason that I raise the question is not to uh, dwell or refocus on the absurdity of the debt deal that was cut last week. Uh, it is rather 
to raise the point that you have an executive branch that made an executive decision, an administrative action, unlawfully, by the well, way. An executive that, order that, that is was, different from an administrative you had you had action Rule by the executive branch. You had action by the executive branch. Yeah. That, that's carried not out, the same as a uh, carried as a, out as a uh, regulation issued by a federal agency, and that's what we're talking about you, today. You have the executive branch carrying out by fiat from the other end of Pennsylvania Avenue through its agencies, enforced through its agencies, and through the rulemaking authority. You have them going through the process of canceling, getting rid of, forgiving, providing a bailout, whatever words we want to use, for almost half a trillion dollars worth of student loans. Congress has and authorized the administration to do that. So herein lies the great question. Herein lies the whole point. Who decides? And in this case, what we're saying is, is that bureaucrats and the executive branch decide without Congress speaking to the actual spending of half a trillion dollars. And when we did speak to it, we pull it out, it's not there, and here we sit. And all we're trying to say is, in this bill, in the RAINS Act, which should have been passed last week in the debt ceiling bill, along with the student loan cancellation repeal, but neither were. And so now what we're saying is, can we at least protect against future abuse by the executive branch to say, hey, let's pass this bill, a bill which we all firmly uh, expect not to pass the Senate, by the way, so it therefore becomes a messaging bill rather than using the debt ceiling to actually get it done, side note. But cannot we just pass this piece of legislation to say to the executive branch, hey, maybe you should have to come to Congress before you act, before you go blow half a trillion dollars in direct unfairness to the 87% of Americans who do not have student loans, or those who never took out student loans. The gentleman from Wyoming agree with that point. Well, I agree, a absolutely. There, there is no circumstance under our Constitution where an executive branch by executive order or regulation should be able to adopt something that would have an impact of, of half a trillion dollars without coming to Congress. It's absolutely unconstitutional. There's a litany of other issues that I could put into the record, and I won't, but there's uh, amendments that we'll be having that we're offering that deal with a whole lot of issues that don't necessarily get uh, uh, absorbed into the $100 million economic impact, or at least obviously, that I think are important to, uh, to make sure we address, and we'll address those on the floor. Uh, but just to, to close, um, under no circumstances should the People's House be turning over the ability to uh, make decisions on these important matters to unelected bureaucrats uh, that have no check in our separation of powers and our system of government. With that, I would yield back my time. Chào các bạn. Chào mừng các bạn đã quay trở lại với kênh của mình. Hôm nay, mình sẽ hướng dẫn cho các bạn tô màu bức tranh Mèo Kitty. Mời các bạn hãy cùng đón xem hết video của mình nhé.